So I'm gonna make a champagne sabayon. So sabayon is basically, it's a, it's a custard. I'm gonna make a thin custard, so a ribbon custard. So you need the main things that you would have that would go in custard, so your eggs and your sugar. Instead of using cream, we're going to use sparkling wine. So we're gonna make a sparkling wine sabayon. We've got three egg yolks, pop them into a bowl. And this is your setting agent. And also the thing that's gonna keep a quite acidic wine or water mixed with our fat, the thing that will keep it together. So the emulsifier, the bonding agent that will keep it together is the natural emulsifier that's in the egg yolk. Some sugar, about a quarter of a cup of sugar. As soon as you put your sugar in, you wanna mix. Otherwise your sugar will cook the egg. And depending on how sweet you want your sabayon to be, you could add more sugar if you wanted to, remembering that the sparkling is sharp. It's quite tart, it's quite acidic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkling wine to that. Mix it together. Again, just like you would make a custard or a creme anglaise. And then we're gonna heat this. So we wanna heat it to between 70 and 80 degrees until it coats, what we say, until it coats the back of a wooden spoon. So to control that heating process, we're gonna put it on a double boiler. So the steam coming up from the boiling water is going to be the, the transfer of heat, the steam to the bowl and then to the custard or the sabayon. Just wanna keep mixing that until it starts to thicken. At this point, I just wanna try it and make sure I've got enough sparkling wine in there. Yep. And enough sugar. I want mine to be quite acidic. It's going with fresh fruit. So it's a champagne sabayon with fresh fruit. Fresh fruit is going to be sweet enough. So I want to make my sabayon a little acidic, which is what it is. I could add the rest of that sugar, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to mix this. This can take anywhere from, depending on the amount that you're making, this will take anywhere from three minutes to 10 minutes. And with this small amount, we're looking at probably somewhere in the middle, probably about a five minute process. That is done. And that was probably about five minutes. Keep an eye on it though, there is a real possibility that even with the double boiler, if you let it sit in one spot, there's a real chance you'll split it. So you've got to keep moving it constantly. And you'll end up, you can see how that's thickened up. As that cools, it's going to thicken a little bit more. You can't really, you have to smell it to know that you cooked out all the egg. So I can smell now that all that egg's been cooked out. So we've got a nice uniform mixture of egg through there. Because we're not using cream, it's never going to be as thick as a creme anglaise. It's going to be a little bit more ribbony, a little bit more runny, and that the ribbon is what you're looking for. So when you're, you're mixing it, you're actually after a, a ribbon uh, texture or a ribbon feeling in the sabayon, and then you know you've got it. So that's done. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to let that cool a little bit. While I let it cool, I'm just going to chop up some strawberries. The other fruits, you can if you want to. You can break them or tear them or do whatever you want. Because they're so good at the moment, it's going to leave them as they are. So I'll just chop these strawberries and then we're ready to plate up. So most of the fruits here are the fruits that you're going to get around sort of Christmas, summertime. Blueberries, raspberries and strawberries. And then I've got grapes. Grapes aren't something that you probably normally think of as a fruit that would go with a custard. But I like the, com well, I like the, the connection between sparkling wine, so something that's been made from a grape, and then using a grape to go with it. And these are, I mean, get, don't get the sort of the green table grapes. Try and get these crimson ones. If you can get sapphire grapes, sapphire grapes go really well. Um, and make sure they're really firm. So you want that texture, because with all this fruit, it's fairly similar in texture. If you can get hold of the really firm and most of them now are sort of super firm. Those firm grapes, you'll get a nice pop and it's gonna give you a completely different texture to all the other fruit that you're putting in. Okay, so mix all this together. Now I'm gonna spoon the mixture. I'm gonna put one small layer in. Then I'm gonna spoon some of this sabayon over the top. Then I'll put another layer of fruit, some more sabayon, another layer of fruit. It's almost like we've got a trifle of our champagne, or our, I shouldn't say champagne, every Tasmanian wine maker will kill me. Our sparkling wine, or, or me, um, method Tasmanoir, 
something that we're referring to down here in Tasmania, Method Tasmanoir. Um, Sabayon, and then another layer, and then another layer of the Sabayons. Now this is still a little warm. You can see a little bit of steam coming off there. So you can see how thick that's got. And as it cools, it'll get even thicker. So you can pop it in the fridge if you wanted to. And pull it down even more. It's even still got some bubbles in it. Another layer of the fruit. Layer about the I don't think I'm going to put another layer of fruit on there. I think it looks quite nice. And that sort of everything being sort of covered in that sparkling custard. Here we go. A mixture of two absolutely fantastic products during summer. All the berries that you're going to get this time of year and a nice glass of sparkling wine turned into Sabayon.